Hey everybody, so we are back with a brand new episode this week, and this one is all about fashion trends, which is something that I know nothing about. So I brought in the founder of Ready Pretty, Janine Benoit Adams. Hi guys. Um, we're gonna put her tag below so you can follow her. So she is going to be my fashion guru for today because I own like four shirts, one dress. This is like the dress that I wear to anything where I don't wear jeans. I literally don't know anything about trends. So I need you. She's going to be my assistant with everything fashion related. I'm going to go through some of um, the trends that I see popping up all over and talk about why I just don't get them and gotcha. I don't know how to incorporate them. Gotcha. Okay. So she's going to help me out. Okay. So the first one that we're going to start off with yes. today are the cropped wide leg trousers. Okay. This is one of my absolute favorite pieces for summer and for fall, honestly. So. Think of this as a total go-to pant for the season. You can do something that's got pattern, you can do stripes, you can do solids. It really doesn't matter. The big key here with wearing this trend is keep the top part tucked in or really fitted to your body. Oh, that is helpful. Yeah. Because I was telling Janine that when I see cropped wide leg trousers, I think they look like gaucho pants of the <laughs> 90s or early 2000s. I don't know when that trend was. I was definitely like freshman year of high school maybe. I don't know. I don't, and I owned them. So I'm not dissing anyone who had gaucho pants, <laughs> no. but that's not what these are. No, these aren't what these are. Honestly, it's a really good pant for work, but also works really well for weekend. Just again, make sure that the top is fitted okay. and the bottom you can do either kind of flowy or more of a straight leg. All you need to be concerned about is that you're keeping your waist defined because that'll create the best proportion for your body. Waist defined. Okay. Yes. And are these, what like materials should I be looking for? Do these come in like denim? Is it like uh... So yes, you can totally do a denim with these or just think of again, like a work pant. So something that's got a cotton or polyester fabric, something that's got a little stretch to it, a woven. Mm -hmm. You can really be kind of experimental with these okay. pieces. But the big thing again is you want to be comfortable and you want to look proportion. So just keep that waist tucked as much as possible. Okay. And shoes. Yes. Any any requirements? Yes. There? So I always say with this particular silhouette, add a little height with a oh, block okay. sandal or maybe a heel. You want to create a little length in your leg because it does hit you at kind of that like the weird awkward. spot. Yeah. yeah. So you need to like elongate as much as possible. So okay. I always say add a little bit of a heel, whether it's a block or a full heel, just to create that length. Something there. Okay. Noted. Okay, so now we're going to move on to mules, which I confuse a lot because there's the whole, like, there's mules, yeah. loafers, smoking slippers. Mm -hmm. To me, they all kind of look the same, but we're going to make this mule specific because that kind of transitions the best to summer, right? Yeah, so I absolutely love a mule. You're seeing them everywhere right yes. now. Yes. The cool thing about them is they can go day to night really easily, and there are so many different styles. So yeah. You can do heels, you can do flats, you can do a block wedge, you can do a lot of different ways. Peep toes. Yeah. Like there are tons of ways to do mules and make it kind of work for your style. So the mules, like all that that means is just that it doesn't have the back, exactly, right? Exactly. Okay. So it's so like a slip on basically. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those work with like pants, dresses. Yes. So honestly, it's like a, I call it a wardrobe workhorse. So oh. you can wear it with everything, whether you're doing denim, whether you're doing, um, you know, pants for work, whether yeah. it's a skirt or dress, it just depends on like the heel height okay. um, and how you're kind of styling with the rest of your outfit, but there is certainly a mule for everyone. Perfect. And now I know that because you said there are so many options, if I were to invest in one mule, what yes. should I be looking for with okay. that? Okay, if you're going with one mule, which I can't do. You've got several, <laughs> I assume. Yeah. Um, I would do a neutral with a black heel. Okay. So it's a really good option for day to night transition and then neutral, obviously you can wear with a lot of different pieces in your wardrobe. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, so this is a trend that I have seen literally everywhere. It's the crop top thing. Yes. And I feel like I literally don't know how to shop for shirts anymore without them being crop tops. They're just absolutely everywhere. Yes. So in, in order for me to purchase anything new, I feel like I'm going to have to start to wrap my mind around how to wear one of these. Yes. Um, but my biggest concern about it is that like, if you're not you know, a size two, can you still pull this trend off? Help. Yes. yes, you can. Okay. So I always say it depends on your comfort level, number one, but I totally hear you on things that it's pushing a bit of boundaries. Right. You know, crop top, for right. sure. If you're feeling a little bit nervous about this trend, I always say do the crop, but be sure that your bottom proportion is in check. So by oh. that I mean, for you, you said you feel uncomfortable with the crop top. If yeah. you do something that's higher waisted okay. with a full leg on bottom, it'll balance oh. out your proportions really well. So you still have that crop, but you have the higher waist hitting right there. So, so you're, you're not, not really showing belly. Yes. 
but you're still given that kind of proportion that kind of that feel. gives you that like kind of hourglass shape so. I love that so it's a really simple way to kind of fake the crop okay I love that and so do you I mean I've seen it where like they've worn it with like skirts pants like you, it can really work with any sort of bottom right sure. as long as it's got that ball on you yeah so again another option would be if you're feeling like don't go skin tight skin tight right so right. crops are obviously for anyone honestly yeah. for anyone it's, it's revealing yeah so do like an a-line skirt that hits you a little bit higher waisted so you got the crop then you do a skirt that kind of flow, flows out a little bit okay to create a really beautiful kind of feminine shape and silhouette perfect I love it okay so this last one is a trend that I can totally get on board with if I know how to make it work it's the whole pajama top trend my favorite yes, yes. okay it's so good how do I do this like is there like a legit like can I wear this to work Totally. So okay. let me just give you the outfit formula. Okay. So I've been doing this trend a ton, right? You can yeah. think of it almost as like a tee or yeah. the, like the robed pajamas. So I think you're thinking silk. Okay. One. Yes. Like okay. a soft silk material. Okay. Um, you can do one with a tie to make it kind of blazer-esque. But either way, do denim, denim. do like a neutral, like maybe a black or white or even navy silk camisole underneath. Okay. And then add the um, pajama robe on top and it's like an instantly chic super kind of European vibe that I've been wearing a ton. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how do I like accessorize this top? Like do you usually make everything still pretty minimal or do you dress it up with like... So I've been doing neutrals with this, but I know there's some gorgeous kind of patterns out there that you can okay. do as well. I would just say if you're going to go pattern on top, keep your bottoms pretty neutral. So okay. black denim, white denim, okay. blue denim, keep things like fairly conservative on the bottom if you're going to do something a little more fun. Okay, and I should be looking for silk fabric, you said. Yes, I just so think that. Not cotton. That, that, that's like you're going to bed. That's that time. This silk, <laughs> okay. silk is like you're going out on the yeah, town. Yeah, going out on the or town. Or to work. Honestly, I've been doing this trend for work a lot, so making it kind of feel more blazer-esque. Okay. Um, I work in a conservative environment, so I can do that. Yeah. But it's a great option for um, a blazer that's not really a blazer and way more comfortable. Okay, I am so on board with this. Yes. This one, this one I'm definitely <laughs> going to give it a whirl. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that was very enlightening for me. I feel like I learned a lot. I feel like I know what to look for when I go shopping. So thank you. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. So if you guys have any other questions about the trends we talked about today or any other fashion-related questions, just leave us a comment, and I will be sure to get your questions answered. Yes, and I am definitely going to take advantage of that as well. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching again this week. In the meantime, check out theevergirl.com for more content, and then we'll be back next week with a brand-new episode.